Welcome to the Elgin Street Gallery on the first floor of the new Elgin building on the campus of the University of Houston. This gallery is in the same building as all the MFA studios and is used for mounting both individual and group shows. Hello, my name is Marky Dewhurst and I'm a graduating MFA painter at the University of Houston. I'm here today at Elgin Street Gallery to share some images of my most recent paintings in my first solo show. These are some of the more recent black and white paintings I've made over the past year. The work suspended in the center of the gallery usually hangs on the wall, but for this show, I decided to roll the canvas around cylinders. I wanted to completely engage the space of the gallery and use a new approach to thinking about distortion. I often use misshapen forms and fracturing in my paintings, so when I look at them mounted around a curved shape, I now find even more distortion because there is only a single vertical line on the cylinder in focus at one time. I also like the oddity of looking at how parts of figures combine and recombine. They continuously merge into new images as I walk around the room, watching how the cylinders change in relationship to each other. I like to think of this body of work as a collection of slightly odd and somewhat mysterious guests. I see them gathering for conversation. Some of them are accompanied by fragments of stories or ambiguous artifacts. Others might be obscuring past experiences. In thinking about my interest in painting, I find it lies with the psychological qualities of the images I make and how I connect them to some kind of narrative or implied narrative. I use the figure to create characters with imagined complexities and layers like private motivations or buried damage or personal entanglements. And it's those kinds of complexities that make me think about what one might be up against and how they will navigate the worlds I created for them. I often use imagery that is ambiguous or distorted because it represents complexity for me. And in part, it's a language that I personally identify with. I learned to understand things through a kind of visual filter when I was growing up, a combination of extremely poor eyesight and intense shyness. I was socially awkward to be sure, but it led me to become a keen observer and learn how shadow shapes were substantial and later on how they could be used as building blocks for invented people and invented spaces. I find now this completely influences the way I approach art making. And while I find strangeness and psychological intrigue compelling, I keep in mind that they are really a stand-in for thinking about experiences, about creating and solving problems and understanding why I feel the need to contribute. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the images. Oh, 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 oh,